Although Nebraska didn't shock the world and knock off the third-ranked and undefeated Oklahoma Sooners, they slapped some respect back on their name. You got to give big time credit to this Nebraska team. They could have easily came into this game, folded over, and Oklahoma could have run roughshod on them. But Nebraska fought, and when they got down through the interception late in the game, which seemed to be the end of it at the time, they were able to get the ball back. They go down the field, they get into the end zone, have the ball late with a chance, but obviously weren't able to do anything with it. This team was in it until the very end. If Nebraska can play like this in the remainder of their games, they will be in each and every single one of the remainder of their games. That heart, that grit. I know an Oklahoma stage is a big stage and you get hyped up for that kind of stage, but if they play like that the rest of the season, they're gonna have a chance to win a lot of ball games. That being said, same old, same old in Lincoln. Special teams, offensive line penalties. The kicking game was off this game. It's been off uh, for Nebraska all season long. Special teams was a point where they needed, they needed to have good special teams. They needed to be good in the kicking game. You can't leave points on the field. And what do you do? You miss a couple of kicks and then the extra point leads to two points the other way. The offensive line committed a lot of penalties that really halted the drives or slowed down some drives, pushed them back. Got to give the Huskers defense a little credit. We know that's a really good Oklahoma offense on the other side of the ball year in and year out this year is no different with the best one of the best quarterbacks in the country. But this Husker defense contained them. They didn't stop them. As this game wore on, Nebraska's defense couldn't get off the field. And if they could have gotten off the field, they would have had a much better shot to win this game. After the blocked extra point that was returned for two points, multiple third and longs on that drive, Nebraska couldn't get off the field. At that point, they could have gotten it back in a one-possession game and maybe tied it, and who knows what would have happened. Oklahoma's running game was ready to play. 196 yards on the ground, Kennedy Brooks was a big part of that, especially on that final drive of the game, getting key first downs, converting on third down. Huskers couldn't get off the field. I thought coming into this game, Adrian Martinez needed to run first, and if he couldn't run, then he wasn't going to have a good day throwing the football. That wasn't exactly the case today. Adrian Martinez was good through the air, even though he didn't run the football particularly well. Martinez only 17 carries, 34 yards on the ground with a score. 289 yards and a touchdown through the air. He was able to push the football down the field, give Nebraska first downs. We saw a guy that can sit back there, that can throw, and he doesn't need to rush for over 100 yards to keep them in the football game. That being said, I think this game would have been a lot better for the Huskers if they were able to run the ball not only with Adrian, but their other stable of running backs. Although they were able to get theirs in the passing game, they didn't finish drives. And when you're, when you're not able to run the football efficiently in the red zone, that's exactly what can happen. I hate the concept of moral victories. But there's a lot of positives you can take out of this. You hung in there with the number three team in the country. And if you eliminate mistakes in the kicking game at special teams, if you trim down the penalties on offense, you're right there. If you make a stop on third and long, you are right there with a chance to win the game until they figure out special teams kicking, until they figure out penalties. Until that gets figured out, we're going to keep on getting these types of results in Lincoln, Nebraska. It's a result we all expected. What do you guys think of this matchup? Huskers hung in there, but once again, fall in a marquee game. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for daily Big Ten content. I'm Big Ten Ted. We'll see you in the next one.